Okay, so thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find large images across your entire website that could potentially be slowing your website down. Um, who has the time to go to every page on their website and see um, how big the images are? So if you like this content, like it, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that cool stuff. It helps me grow the channel. And depending on what y'all like, helps me determine what kind of videos um, you want, you guys want. So I've had a lot of requests about performance and stuff like that. So this is this is this is a big thing. So one of the most common problems with websites that slow them down is people have super large images, right? So let me just do this. So one way. Web page test is a really cool tool, but this is only going to check. Just do this website, the home page. This isn't going to check the entire site, but if you just want to check the home page for large images, you can come here, let it do its thing. If there's no queue built up, it's probably going to take 15 seconds or so. So let's let it go. And there's all kinds of cool options you can select here. You can disable JavaScript. You can select the speed. You can select um, location. Um, there's just all kinds of stuff. Hopefully it'll be finishing up here soon. This is the main website I go to for doing performance tests. I don't really go to get Google Page Insights. I don't go to GT Metrics. I don't go to Pingdom. So you can see here, these are the core web vital scores. And we're not going to get into this a lot. But all you do is click on the waterfall chart. So these are how, how, this is how long things are taking to load. So this piece of CSS took 0.5 seconds to load. So these are all the things that are loading on the page. The average website is about 3 megs. This one is 1.9. Meg, so that's good. The average number of requests is about 100 to 150. This has 58 requests. So these are the requests here, all these things loading. So this PNG file took, it's a short little line actually. So what sticks out is this purple bar. So let's see what this is. So it's an object. Sometimes it's buggy. So let's go back and back. It's this image here. So if you look at the size of it, it's only 105K. Right, but this, you get the idea. This is how you can see the things that are loading on your page. Now, the quickest way, instead of going through these one by one and clicking, is just to come down here, scroll over, and click on Bytes Downloaded. So you can see the biggest file is 387K, and it's a piece of JavaScript. So that's not an image. I can get. You want to get most of your images under 300K, which is entirely possible. Um, when you run into is if you have images that are over a meg, you know, like 1.2 meg, even like 800k. That's the kind of stuff that's going to slow the website down. So this is good, but it's only the home page. So how do you do it for the entire site? So you download Screaming Frog, and basically there is a free version. I think it will scan up to a thousand pages on your website. So if you have a small website or a, you know not over a thousand pages, I think that's what it is. Then you can use this and it'll work. If it's, if it's more, you have to buy it. And it's pretty, it's pretty, it's not that expensive. I think it's like 80 bucks a year if I remember correctly. So all you do is put the URL in here and click start. Now this has all kinds of cool stuff. Like it shows you page titles, meta description, all, all that stuff. What we're going to focus on is the images. So now if, if you use WordPress, there's a bunch of plugins that will optimize images for you. But based on my experience, they're kind of conservative and they, they, they'll optimize images between like 10 and 50%. The way I do it, I can generally optimize them by like 60 to 90 percent. So if you have thousands of images, and that's something you're not, this may not be realistic for you. But so these are the images. So even though they have 39, these are all under, 17 of them are under 300K. So you want to start with the largest files, obviously. And just the, the way you think of this is if you have a lot of images, just don't, in your mind, think you have to do this in a couple days. Just take four a day. And by the end of the week, you'll have it all done. So you just, so if you, I've had sites where I've had to do hundreds of images. And it took months. You know what I mean? But I just did it slowly. So, you, so this is the largest image. Now, first of all, it's not SEO friendly, like the image name. And I'm not going to get too much. I have other videos on SEO, if you like that. By the way, I do videos on SEO, web performance, web, WordPress security, a little bit of crypto. So if you like that stuff, subscribe, hit the... The, the, the notification bell, all that fun stuff. Blah, 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 blah. So let's look at the image. All right, so this is the large image that's 4.1 meg. So let me just show you this. If you're ever on a website, let me go to my old blog that I don't do much with anymore, and you can see it's really ugly. And I'm logged in. That's why it's real slow. It's normally not that slow. There's a good Chrome extension called Image Size Info. If you right-click on it, you can, you know, here, you can see... How big this image is, 9.97K. 
So you can actually right click and get the information. Now it's going to be, so this is just a trivia blog I run. It's like a bunch of weird questions that like, basically the premise is questions that pop into your head that you never take the time to answer because they're not important. Um, okay, I don't know why I clicked on that. So that's that. So, um, so this screaming frog, I don't know if I said, will search the entire website, not just the home page. Now, so you see here, to determine what web page this is coming from, so this image, you don't want to name an image asset.jpg. You want to name it, if that's the name of a lady that's a dentist, like, you know, Joan Rivers Dentist, Boston, Massachusetts, or something like that. And then in the alt text, you want to do the same. Anyway, that's not performance, that's SEO. You can come down here to inlinks, and I hope my, I can hardly see this font. Hopefully you guys can see it okay. And you come down here, inlinks. So this is where the image is at, right? So let's go ahead. You can see if you click on it. This, so this is the original image size. So you can see how big it is. Right? Nobody's going to look at it that big. So you save as, and you want to make it SEO friendly, right? Like I said, but in this, this case, we're just going to save it like that. And I open it in paint. Now there's a lot of tools on the web, so you can just search for like image optimizer. You can go here and you can do it all on the web, right? Some of them are good, some of them are bad, but some of them you don't have a lot of like, you don't can't do a lot of fine tuning like I'm going to show you. Um, but just know there are free tools out there, right? Some of them are good, some of them, most of them are good, but I just like using paint.net. So this is Windows, so it's called paint.net. I think the website is called getpaint.net. It's a free tool, so it's not paint, it's paint.net. So the first thing you want to do is do you really need it this big? Do we really need it 2,500 by 2,500? Probably not. Probably more like 1,200, probably even smaller. But we would just do 1,200 to be safe, right? But in this example, let's not do that. I want to show you just how much this quality, reducing the quality of shrinks images. So remember, it's 4.1 meg. Now, I need to go back and say, don't use J, uh, PNGs for anything other than transparent PNGs. They're a ton bigger than JPEG, and they're certainly a ton big, uh, bigger than WebP. So the only reason you should be using those is for um, the transparent PNGs. Now you can use a command line. If you have a lot of them, you can use a command line tool like Image Magic to do some of this reduction, which is a whole other video I'm going to make. If y'all got it, if you want it, let me know and I'll do that. So what you do here is you, so this is, I was doing this image earlier as I was testing. So we're gonna call it this, and that's not her name. I don't even know if that's her name, there's typos and everything. So you can hear. So if this was a PNG, you could come here to save it as JPG here, right? Um, if it's a few images, it's no big deal. But like I said, there's command line tools where you can batch convert things from PNG to JPEG, just depending on how you want to do it. But I, I will make a video on that eventually. So we're going to save it as JPEG. Now here's where it gets cool. It brings up this quality slider. So let's zoom in so we can get the face about the same size. So it's about the same size as over here. So let's look at, so we look at the quality here compared to here. So it's 4.4 meg, so it actually grew a little bit, which is strange. Maybe the calculation's a little off. So you can see the quality is pretty good. I can get most things down to 30% quality and don't lose any quality whatsoever. So that's 36. You can see here the quality is the exact same. So what? Keep an eye. Don't even look at the slider. Just keep an eye here. See if anything changes as I, as I slide. So that's 30%. Don't look at the slider. Just look at the face. Look at the lips and the teeth. Did you see anything change? I didn't, right? So by getting it, when you get, when you get to like 20 is when you start, and below is when you start losing quality. Let's just keep it at 30 there. So we've gone from 4.1 meg or 4.4 meg, depending on the calculation you believe, down to 263K. That's a huge reduction, right? So images you have, anything on a web page, it has to be downloaded. There's no way around it, right? It has to be downloaded. So it's something you need to optimize. You need to make these files as small as possible. So that's pretty good, right? Now, what I'm doing nowadays is I'm using WebP, which is a newer image format. And you call it, you know, whatever. Not, not whatever. You would call it something, you know, meaningful. But in this example, we're not going to call it something meaningful. Save. Same concept. But you can see here, this gets it down to 118K. So it reduced it even more. Now, that was keeping the same image dimensions. Then you would go re-upload it to your website. So let's go change the image dimensions to where we think it should be. Let's just do 1200, which is probably too big anyway. File. Save as. WebP, thirty percent, and we're down to twenty-five k. So we've gone from four point one meg 
down to 25k. I can't do that math, math in my head, but it's I don't know 400 smaller possibly. I don't I don't can't even do that in my head. And then you just go re-upload that to the website, and that's basically it. I hope I'm not leaving anything out. Um, yeah, if you like this video, please like it. It really helps me out because I'm trying to grow the channel. If you need any help with um, SEO stuff, web performance, um, WordPress security, just go over to my website at norzer.me, contact us, send me a note, and I'll get back to you. This is I like doing this stuff. This is what I do for a living, and I'd love to help out. And if there's any videos you want done, just leave it down in the comments below, and I'd be happy to do it if I know how to do it. Um, but yeah, that's it. And hit the like button. Um, subscribe, please. That really helps. And the notification bell. And that's it. So have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.